Carlo Mays. Today I will give you some few examples of what uh, satellites can do. You know, in when you were, we're talking of banditry, Boko Haram, kidnapping, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. But at the point we have, we, we're using the available intel. These bandits will kidnap. They will call using somebody's cell. Oh. So therefore, what's our problem? If we look at mm -hmm. it, which means to attack, mm -hmm. to respond. How are we going to respond? That's the issue yeah. for now. Then coming to the cyberspace, I'm talking about the cybersecurity. Uh, have there been we utilize the satellites? Well, today, go and find out how much MTA is generating as a revenue. Mm -hmm. As of last year, I think MTN declared about 2.7 trillion mm -hmm. as profit. So therefore, all such benefits will come to Nigeria as if we own that satellite. Mm -hmm. And the satellite is the next oil. Look at Stalins that just come off recent that are providing data services. Mm -hmm. How many satellites Elon Musk launch? And these are things that will give us not only peace. We are talking of physical battle or physical, but peace mm -hmm. must be categorized into two. We have, um, to have both vertical and horizontal peace. Mm -hmm. Vertical is what we are looking for now. But what we must have a horizontal fist that I and you Can will see. have the notion that if I'm moving one o'clock mm -hmm. from here to Gwagwalada, mm -hmm. that nothing will happen. That's one o'clock in the morning, yes. 1 a.m. Yeah. All mm -hmm. officers, government officials will move freely, freely without looking who will escort them, who will give them protection in their houses. Mm -hmm. I have the notion and I have the impression that nothing is happening to me. Yeah. And, and so you're therefore, that there's too. the vertical piece. Okay. And for us to achieve such, we must to use the available intel. We mm -hmm. must to imbibe the culture of non-kinetic. We must invest heavily in our cyberspace mm -hmm. so that we can protect, stop all such of atrocities before its occurrence. Mm -hmm. You have been very deliberate and intentional about having us talk more on cybersecurity. Yes. Now, I'm loving it because I'm feeling you have the might to push that some more. Are there some arrangement? I wouldn't know. Must it always be bills that can facilitate some of these things? for okay? They have started something. The police have the part of a, a little cyber center. Mm. I'm sure the military has their own too and they are investing heavily in terms of intel, that's the essence of DIA and DMI. Mm -hmm. And DSS are doing uh, wonderfully well in terms of that. But it requires a huge intervention to all sectors directly, not only budgetary allocation this time around. Okay. We need to do a holistic job, holistic approach. What are these cyberspace I'm talking about? It's a very something of shame today. Mm -hmm. You will have, up to now, Nigerians cannot get their need Mm -hmm. identity physically within seven days if you go to china in canton fair a population of about 40 million people are attending the canton fair in 24 hours you will get your identity card then the data harmonization mm -hmm. unfortunately immigration data INEC data the need all the banks data are not all collaborating we need to integrate them fuse them together into one server so that here, you know, my name, my name number can bring everything of me. Kudos to the banking sector, at least the NIR, BVN. the BVN is now having such. But how many Nigerians are enrolled on the BVN? Mm -hmm. Up to now, it's not up to 25 million Nigerians, okay. as I'm speaking to you. Okay. So therefore, it's high time. You need to get everybody on board, then fish out the bad eggs. Mm -hmm. Without getting them on board, how will you fish out the bad eggs? You won't even know what I'm planning. But it's a global technological age that I cannot plan by just having a meeting. Mm -hmm. Most of the planning goes either by email, internet services, telecoms, etc. Et so therefore, this is what we mean by the cyberspace. Not something new, not something different. Okay. Just getting ourselves in one basket mm -hmm. so that our security operatives and apparatus will segregate the bad and the good among us. So Fighting such kind of crisis bandit with air defense system, yes, you can get the surveillance, 
But when you have the surveillance, it will still come to the cyberspace. Mm -hmm. It's the cyber that will give the intel and then required location without proper cyber intelligence. That look at the issue of what happened in Kaduna. Mm. You will go and hit the wrong people. Mm. So therefore, you must that's what come you must come back to the cyber system mm. so that you have an accurate data, accurate intel available, then determine what kind of response you will do. But uh, that's uh, I have to commend him for even calling for more funds. That's why I earlier said that I'm working on a bill mm. to create the National Security Trust Fund. All right. Because the budgetary allocation alone cannot, and the what I want to do as a bill is that security is everyone's business. Very true. This time around, we will not defend on the federal allocation of the presidency. Well-meaning Nigerians who are patriotic enough has to contribute and support to that funds mm -hmm. so that the military will help them either whatever medal they want to give them and the recognition that they have given to the country. Mm -hmm. They are businessmen without a safe separate society, they know that their business will not, you know, type. So therefore, what we are proposing, the National Security Trust Fund, is uh, entirely there's going to be a, a quarterly or annually, even globally, including the diasporans, where they can support the, uh, the, uh, the Security Trust Fund. And even they will be part of the judicial utilization of such funds to the military, to our air defense system, and to all the security outfits of our country. So that's the bill, the 10th National Assembly, under the leadership of our Right Honorable Tajuddin Abbas, we're working on to bring back the National Security uh, Trust Fund. Halo Maze, parliamentary advocacy and journalism redefined.